Welcome back heroes to another Pokemon TCG Unbox and today we have the Elite Trainer Box, the Champion's Path, which uh, is basically selling out everywhere. Like, I want to get more of these, but I could only get my hands on one. Apparently they're reprinting more soon, so that's uh, that's great. Gonna crack this open, hopefully. Probably not, but we want to pull that Shiny Charizard or Rainbow Rare Charizard VMAX. Like, either one would be pretty good. But in here you actually get a uh, normal Charizard V, which I kind of want because it looks pretty good. It really does. So let's open this bad boy up. And the plastic is always like the hardest challenge, man. It's like my number one enemy. So I'm going to quickly just, there you go, dig a hole into it. Also, I want to say a big thank you to everyone so far that's subscribed to the uh, the new channel. In case you didn't know, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below and in the comments. You can check it out. I've got a brand new channel, uh, Hero Voltsy TCG, where we're going to be um, unboxing all the TCG stuff in the future. I'm going to be launching it soon. But for now, I'm just going to be doing the stuff here. I'm going to keep that collection, it looks really cool. So here's the little booklet you always get and just in case you haven't seen it, but the cards in here you get really nice and what everyone is after is this bad boy here. We can pull that, that'd be so good. And then the other bad boy is uh, probably at the back. Is he even in here? Ah, yeah. It is right there. I wouldn't mind actually pulling Piers or Hop. Honestly, I wouldn't mind them too. That Gardevoir V actually looks really cool as well. And the Cursola V. Wouldn't mind them. So the cards I want, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six cards I want. So when you like, we can we can pull them. So obviously you're guaranteed a hollow every pack. Uh, not, you know, that really matters because all the hollows are kind of terrible, but I would still, you know, I like our chances. <laughs> uh, little trading card rules, which I probably should read. I kind of want to learn the Pokemon TCG a little bit, but so much to learn at the moment. And there's the Charizard. Uh, I think that looks pretty, pretty well centered. Yeah, it looks all right. It looks all right. I like that. I'm not gonna open it. I'm keeping the little packaging. Like all the promo cards have got in the packaging. I still have in the packaging. I'm gonna actually open it. And then you got the energy pack. You want some energy cards and. The dividers and then the sleeves, but we're not going to use these sleeves because we already have an open pack of sleeves here. Just in case we pull, got the Zero Aura ones because I do like Zero Aura. Alright, so we get, is it eight packs I believe? And we got some dice, some counters, which that look alright. Anyway, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs! Oh! Nice! Usually the Elite Trainer Box you get 8, but I guess with the Champions Path one, it is 10. This is... Oh! Two more extra packs. A bit more excited now, so let's start with this. Oh man. Every time starting in packs, my heart races like, if there's a card I want. It's like, just in case you, know, you pull it, it's just... You never know, you never know. So online code for you guys. And here we go. The, the chase begins. Did you get the chase music from the TV show, the game show even, because it's kind of fitting. But got the bee drill, got the sizzlipede. Love that pearl line art, I really do. And the scraggers are so cute. Pokeball, Galarian Lanoon, reverse Absalom. The first card is a hollow Altaria. Okay, I mean, not great. So far, I feel like Alt Altaria is probably the, the most common hollow. Because in the the nine packs we opened, the first nine packs from the the pin collection, I pulled three Hollow Altarias. It's just eh, not great. Right. So let's get into pack number two. Dude, I just love opening packs. Like, I honestly, I don't know what it is, but even if I wasn't even keeping the cards, I just like opening packs. It's just the the thrill that opening the pack. It's just it's so nice. We've got Energy, Milo, Great Ball, Absol, that Vulpix is so cute, Galarian Lanoon, Full Heal, Purloin, Kukuna, Reverse Lipid, and then we have a Hollow Scrafty. Alright, two packs down, not great so far. Like I said, I'm, I'm still happy with the Charizard V out the Elite Training Balls, I know like, obviously you guaranteed it, but I still think it's a nice card. Number three. Again, cold. One, two, three, four. Please be a good pack. Right. 
So, light and energy. BD, one of the really best rivals, I think, in Pokemon. I really like BD, I thought it was a really cool character. Just wish with Pokemon games we had more story. Because uh, BD was very interesting, but I just don't think they delved deep enough into him. He's got Roller Coley. Hyper Potion, and then we have. Ooh, Al Creamy V. Okay. That's quite nice. I want to get the Al Creamy um, V Max because I think the artwork for that card looks insane. I forgot to mention another card. So, seven cards I want to pull. So, we've got one V so far. From like, I've been watching a lot of people. I'm going to probably save this. I've been watching a lot of people um, unbox Champions Path because. Oh, so this came a day late and I've got more products coming in the future. This is really just nice to see what people pull and their reactions. But roughly it seems people pull about three V cards. Well like I think two V cards and like a um like a full art or something out of the early trainer boxes. So um judging by that, I should pull oh, I say it's all random. I should pull for another V and then a hopefully a full art. So even better. That would be that'd be nice. And then we go bam, and then we do four, here we go, next set. So we have our energy, hop, really hope we get a full trainer hop, beedrill, tatterum, pokeball, sizzlipede, glorian zigzagoon, scraggy, rockruff, love that rockruff up, potion, and then we have, ooh, a hatterene, again, not, oh god, just not the camera, my bad, <laughs> not great. Not great at all. Ah, uh, dude, these normal hollows. Like, I really wish this uh, this set had more cards in it. I think in total it's about seventy. I think it's seventy six. So you're gonna see a lot of like dupes. Whereas, like, if you get like hidden fates, that was a great set. Like, so many cards in. You're not gonna see as many dupes. But this like this set, I feel like all the commons we pull are probably gonna be all you know the same. We have energy, Beedrill, Milo, that absolute art though is so nice, so nice. Got Nikit, Inkay, Roly Coley, Sizzlipede, Purloin, Reverse Trubbish, and then we pull probably gonna be another Hollow. Yeah, another Hollow, another Hatterene. Oh, dude. Okay, we still have five packs left. So our five packs, one V. That's that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. I mean, I'm not giving up hope yet. Not giving up hope. Okay, next pack. Pack number six. Can six be lucky? Let's hope. One, two, three, four. Here we go. So, starting things off with the Steel Energy. Got Sonya. Kyabu. Ooh, getting all the trainer cards here. BD. Lanoon. Could that be a sign for a full art trainer hop? Like a rainbow peers. That'd be kind of cool. Swap blue. Ooh, reverse under scorch. And then we have a Galarian Oxtagoon. Dude. Could this be the worst elite trainer box unboxing on YouTube? Maybe. It looks like it's going that way at the moment. With 1v, this is... Oh god, can I open this? This is not great. Like, the only way to fix this right now is if we get like a, a full art rainbow rare. <laughs> That'd be nice. Oh, dude. Oh, God. Like, okay, it's not there. Like, some of the cards at the back is just a bit scuffed. Just hope it's like, you know, you don't want to get scuffed. I think, oh, I saw. We got something good. We got something good. Oh, spoilers. Here we go. Energy. Hop. Beedrill, Rod on phone, Kakuna, the Pokeball. Matchup, Hatena, Full Heal, Great Ball, and then we have a. Oh, we have a Full Art Dreadnought V. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. Sleeve that bad boy up. Not something I wanted, but I mean, it's still a nice card. 100%. Is it misprinted or anything? No, it looks pretty centered. It's pretty good. All right, let's save that bad boy carefully. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. We needed, we needed something good to make the box not the worst. And that's that's good. That is good. Ooh. Oh, dude. 
Some of these packs just don't want to open. What is this? Okay, I'm going to put it on the side. Open pack. There you go. Now, whatever is in this pack does not want to come out, that's for sure. Is it anything good? Probably going to be a normal ho hollow, I would assume. I'm trying not to spoil myself as well what there is, but sometimes, like, it's just hard not to see the edges. Alright, so we have Energy, Grapple, Absol, Victini. Like I said before, Victini needs like a new, like, full art or something. I don't know. I, I like Victini. I think it's a really cool design Pokemon. Stop its type in. Just I like everything about Victini. It's pretty sweet. Alright, Potion, Reverse Kabu, and then got a Hollow Marnie. I think Marnie's actually a pretty decent card. I think people need that for the like the actual TCG to play. From what I heard one one person say. So um I guess that's not a bad pull out all really. All right, second to last pack. Can we get anything good? Alright. Please, please, please give me like another another something good. <laughs> We've got energy. Sharpedo, Pokemon Center Lady, Turfield Stadium, Carvana with the lightning storms in the background looks really cool. Got that potion, got that rock rough, the cute little angry weedle, got Swablu with the rainbow. Ooh, hollow energy. Okay, I'll take it. I like that. And then we have a Hedoram. Like the hollow energies, I don't, I don't really mind too much. Like they go for a little bit. Now I kind of want to get one of each because they're actually. Actually, really nice. Let's leave that bad boy up. But so far, I mean, it, it could be better. Last pack, please. Something good. We just need like, if I get another V, then that's kind of like the average of what I've seen. I've said it's been better, but the average I've seen for Elite Trainer boxes is three V cards. One of them being a full art. Just a mess this pack up. Like I've opened somehow, the, I've got the plastic bit, I've, I've ripped off the plastic bit left, I don't know, right. So, last pack, last pack luck, can we get anything good? So, we have the energy, the beedrill, Hatrim, Milo, Galarian Lanoon, Hatena, Swablu, Scraggy, Carvana, Reverse Kakuna, and the last card is Disappointment, Scrafty. Never been so disappointed in my life. That is, this is probably one of the worst Elite Trainer boxes, I think. Like, that was just, that was not great. Oh, dude, that was so bad. We've got the Dreadnought V, it looks, it does look really cool though, to be honest. And then you got the Al Creamy V, which is kind of cute. And got an energy. That it could have been a lot better, honestly. That was that was kinda awful. Kind of awful. Uh, but luckily we got some more Champions Path coming soon. Very soon. I think we got the pin collections for the fourth and fifth gyms coming out next week, I think. October 2nd. Is that next week? I feel like it's next next week, but. That'd be an extra like eight packs, I think, and maybe pull something good. But oh, dude, I'm sorry. This is just kind of a lackluster lead trainer box. It really was. But at least you know I pull bad. And if you buy one, you're probably likely gonna pull better than me, hundred percent. If you pull worse, then I am I am so so sorry, <laughs> so sorry. But uh, let's put that there. Yeah, it it wasn't great. It wasn't great. I'll catch you guys uh, next time. Have a great day. Peace.